everyone. This is Ms. Maria with University of Nevada, Reno Extension. I'm with the Partners in Parenting program. You might recognize me from Let's Discover STEM. Seeing as how it is spring and we're all kind of forced to be inside, can't really be outside and enjoy the beauty of seeing flowers bloom, I'm going to give you guys a very short activity you can do at home to entertain the children and be able to see flowers blossom. The materials you will need are, of course, some different types of paper. So I have some really thick cardstock, some regular colored paper, blue, pink, yellow, and yes. some construction paper. The little parrot to my side is my daughter Catherine. She will be assisting me in this activity. You will also need some scissors. And if you have stickers around the house, you can go ahead and use those. Um, I used some Cat in the Hat stickers for mine. Um, so we'll go ahead and get started. And what you will need to do to begin is once you've selected the papers you're going to be using, you're going to cut out a square about three by three inches long. You're going to fold that paper in half. Once you have this half done, you'll fold it in half one more time. So you should have a tinier square. And once you've got into this portion, you're going to fold it diagonally, corner to corner. Right? Now, we need to come up with the shape of the petals. So the corner that's going to hold it together, you don't want to cut there. I'm going to show you very quickly. You're just going to cut out the shape of the petal that you want. Leaving the corner intact that holds it together. So when you go ahead and open this, it should look like, like this. All right, it's kind of like during winter time and we're making snowflakes at home. Again, the, the stickers are optional. Seeing as how I have them here, I'm going to take one, place it directly in the center. And this is how we're going to make our little flower buds. We're just going to take each petal and fold it into the middle so that the ending of our petal touches the inside middle portion of our flower here. And we're going to do this on all sides. Once we have created as many flowers as we want to use, we're going to need some type of Tupperware, the sink, bathtub, anything that we can fill with some water. I have selected this glass so that you're able to see it a little more clearly and water of course. So now one by one my daughter Catherine will be placing them inside of this um, container so we can go ahead and see the flowers blossom. I think you should start with this pink one since it's made with thicker cardstock and this blue one. This green one is the reason I took it from her is made with the hardest and most thickest kind of paper I have. This one takes the longest. So go ahead and place that in the water. And as you can see, depending on the texture of the paper, how quickly or slowly the flower will open. This is regular construction paper and so is that blue one she has in her hand. So once she places it in the water, we can begin to see how the flower will blossom. This red one is construction paper as well. Put it in the water, please. The thicker the paper, the longer it takes for our flower to blossom. But as you can see, our construction paper is beginning to open up beautifully. And so is our cardstock that's a little thicker than regular paper, but not quite as thick as the cardstock I used for that green flower. Now, this yellow paper is just regular paper, it's just yellow. So we're going to go ahead and put this one in the water. And this pink one as well. Baby pink. This orange one. Or yellow, I'm not sure quite. It's orange and yellow. Purple is construction paper. Your favorite color. 
And because we all seem to have regular lined paper in our homes right now, I went ahead and made one with this. This seems very thin, so let's see how quickly or slowly this one can open for us. Seems to be one of the ones that opens up the quickest. As you can see though, our blue one and pink one, even though she put those in first, they're still having a little bit of difficulty in opening up. And this one. But you can see the different colors. It's something fun, something quick that you can now do at home with your child so that they can see how flowers bloom. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Again, only things you will need, different types of paper, scissors, a container and some water. Stickers are optional, just makes it a little more exciting when the flowers bloom, the kids have something to see inside. Um, you can follow us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash UNCEPP and we'll be having some Zoom classes online. You can find our links there if you're interested in following us. And we will have another video posted for you on Friday next week. Looking forward to, see, to having you view it. Have a good day. Bye.